Yo, what is up fam? This is your boy Brandon Rico back again with another Beatmaker 3 tutorial. So I'm gonna try to make this video a little bit shorter since all of my other videos lately have been a little bit longer. So today inside of Beatmaker 3, I'm gonna show you how to use your Dynamics processor, manipulating your expander and your sidechain compression for your 808. By the end of this video, you're gonna know how to turn this. into this. So without wasting no more time, let's jump right into it. Hey. All right, so let's get started. First, what I did was create a loop in Reason Compact for iOS. Dope app, by the way. So I just played around with some sounds inside of Reason Compact. <laughs> like that and I came up with a uh, with an eight bar loop that sounds like this what I did was I actually hit this menu button and I wanted to export that eight bar loop so I hit export I come down to I want to make it a, uh, a sound file so that I can import it into Beatmaker 3. Beatmaker 3, copy straight to Beatmaker 3. After I copied it into Beatmaker 3, I went into my documents uh, folder within Beatmaker 3, which will be right here at the top left hand corner, the second icon here. And then you will go into your samples library where it would have imported to. So you can hear it. Just like that. So you get the point. You can then drag and drop it onto one of your pads. Make your necessary adjustments. You can tune it up or tone it down. I decided to just leave it how it was because I liked the key that I played it in and I just so happened to like the sample a lot. So what I did first was uh, I set an eight bar loop. So now that I have my eight bar loop with that, with that recorded, I went in and I created a, a drum bank. So what I wanna do to that sample is actually do something really unique to it. So I recorded some hi-hats. four bars so let's put that on the second half of that eight bar loop and then we'll record another another pattern just to make a reference of what we're actually doing here all right so you hear the that hi-hat doing something completely different at the beginning and you still hear our sample in the background so what I wanted to show y'all today is something really, really cool that you can do in Beatmaker 3 or in even any other DAW. Um, it doesn't matter. You can, you can use these same principles. What I want to do is go into the effects tab of my sample. I want to create a dynamics processor. In other DAWs, this might be like a whatever compressor engine that you have. So you'll see here that it says um, dynamics mode. It will be the it's on compression right now, but what we want to do is we want to put an expander on this, and then we're gonna side chain it to that hi hat that we just so we know that that is pad number four, the hi hat that we the, the hi hat that we recorded. We know that that's on uh, pad number four, so we'll select that, and it's on expander mode, and it's side chained to the hi hat that we did. So it's going to react to that pad. Whatever that pad is doing, that's how it's gonna react. I'll play it now. So I don't know if you can hear that, but that's, that's it's, it's mimicking what those pad waves are doing. So if we turn it off, you can hear it. That's 
just play with it until we find a sound that we like. And then you can just keep adjusting it till you sound find a, like a, a actual sound and the attack and everything how you like it. So let's say you don't want though that that hi hat in the background to play while your sample is doing that. So what we do is go back into the drum pads that we recorded from, select mute. And then mute that hi hat, and then press play on our sample. And now it's doing that. Pretty cool, right? All right, so <laughs> now that we got that down pat, I want to add some more drums to it. Let's add another layer of drums. Take that off mute. All right, so let's try that. I like that. But that's what it sounds like when it on. Hey. All right, so now, now what I want to do is add a uh, 808. And oftentimes what you'll hear in like hip hop and R&B music is the 808s and that really punchy kick. And a lot of times what they do in that is um, they use a side chain compression to take out a portion of that initial kick Every time it hits, it le it leaves room so those frequencies are not uh, competing with each other. It leaves room for. I'll show you what you. Talk, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You see how you see can you kind of see how that kick and that 808 is kind of clashing? So I want to do something that'll fix that. And what I can do here is actually go to my pads. So I'll go into my effects, audio effects window I'm here. Right now, this is, this is talking to the overall instrument as a whole. I can go into each individual pad. So whatever pad I have selected, I'll go in here, tap that pads button. You'll see the name change when I select another pad. Punch trap kick over here. You can see it corresponding. And then now we have the 808 right there so what we're going to add to our 808 as well is another dynamics processor this is only adding it to that 808 kick with this with inside your with inside your bank so we're going to add another dynamics processor to it so in this case we want to keep the compressor mode on right what we want this 808 to do is react to this this punchy kick right here we want that to we want this 808 to draw back whenever that punchy trap kick hits right so that they're not clashing on that initial boom you know what i mean you still want that kick you still want that punch with the follow through all right so what we're going to do is side chain to that pad and we know that that punchy kick is pad number one so you can side chain to a whole instrument or you can select over here in this region and just select the pads and that'll bring up that list. So we selected our, our, our kick and what I like to do is turn the ratio up to about 4, 4.1 and then turn the threshold down to about 10 maybe. And then we want the attack to be immediate. We want that that kick to come in immediately. So we're gonna turn the attack down to zero, zero milliseconds. And then the release, we want that to be about 20, 25, 24. You can't really hear the difference now 
but trust me in your mix later those frequencies will not be competing with each other as long as you have that side train compressed to that kick drum so we're gonna go ahead and record those uh, 808s and sometimes what I like to do with my 808s is actually not leave it at that monotone that one tone 808 I like to play my 808s as in like they're playing in keys so what I'll do is actually press the keys button right here at the top right hand corner of my pads and then we can get started playing our, our 808s so So that's pretty much how you work your sidechain compression and your expander inside the Dynamics processor for Beatmaker 3. Let me know if this helps somebody out. Um, let me know if you have any ideas. I want to hear what you guys come up with. Tag me in your work on Instagram, on uh, Twitter. Tag me. I am at Brandon Rico. That's all one word. Let me hear your work. And if you have any other tutorials and questions about things in Beatmaker 3 that you want me to walk through, go ahead and hit me up in the comment section. I'll be here every week giving you more tips and tricks on how to improve your workflow, whether it's an iOS or even on the MacBook in your music production workflow. Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for tuning into the channel. This has been Brandon Rico. Signing out. See y'all next week.